Gordon and the engineer. There are railway lines all over the island of Surrey. The railway runs from Brendan Docks right across the countryside. So there are lots of signals. They help the engines to stay safe as they go about their work. All the engines have favourite jobs. Gordon loves pulling the express. Gordon thinks it's the most important job on the island. And Gordon likes to feel important. One morning, the fat controller came to see Gordon. Gordon, the points are broken, said the fat controller. An important engineer is coming to fix them. You are to collect him at Marin Station. Then you must take him to the points as quickly as possible. Don't worry, sir, chuffed Gordon. I'll get him to the points for you. Gordon steamed to Marin. All the other engines were stuck. They couldn't go anywhere until the points were fixed. They all had to wait as Gordon puffed grandly along the express line. I'm an important engine collecting an important passenger, he puffed proudly. Gordon felt very grand. Gordon pulled in to Marin Station. There was a passenger carrying a toolbox waiting on the platform. He must be the important engineer, thought Gordon. All aboard, he whistled and the man with the toolbox climbed on board. Wait, said the station master. Bertie the bus is bringing more passengers. I can't wait, Gordon huffed. I have a very important passenger on board. I have to leave now. And he left. Gordon puffed proudly along. But he didn't know that the man with the toolbox wasn't the engineer or that Bertie the bus had brought the engineer with all the other passengers. Oh no, groaned the engineer, I've missed my train. How will I ever fix the points now? Gordon rattled past Donald. Then he clattered past Douglas. Important engine coming through, chuffed Gordon. This made Douglas very cross. But the man with the toolbox was having a wonderful time. He was the only passenger and he didn't have to stop at any of the stations. At last Gordon arrived at the broken pots. I'm glad you're here, puffed Thomas. None of the engines can move until the points are fixed. But the man with the toolbox was very confused. I'm not an engineer, said the man. I'm a carpenter. I thought Gordon was taking me to the docks. Oh, no! I've left the engineer behind, moaned Gordon. I'll have to go back and get him. But you can't reverse down the express line with the express, said the signalman. Maybe you could go on my line, puffed Thomas. That's a good idea, puffed Gordon. Thank you, Thomas. So Gordon backed down the line and left his express coaches. Then he steamed onto Thomas's track. He reversed quickly down Thomas's line. But he found Douglas blocking his way. Out of my way, huffed Gordon. I've got an important passenger to collect. You can't get past, puffed Douglas. I can only go back as far as the next station, then Donald is in the way. Gordon felt terrible. All the engines were stuck and it was all his fault. How can I collect the engineer? He puffed. Then Gordon had an idea. Maybe all the engines can help, he thought. Gordon told Douglas his idea. Then Douglas puffed down the track to tell Donald. What a grand plan, chuffed Donald. So Donald puffed back to collect the engineer. The engineer climbed on board.
then Donald chuffed back up the line. Donald dropped the engineer off at the station. Then Douglas took the engineer to the next stop where Gordon was waiting for him. Finally, Gordon took the engineer to the broken points. The points were soon fixed. And the engines could puff through. Thank you, Gordon, puffed Thomas. That evening, the railway was back to normal. Thank you for helping me today, puffed Gordon. Even an important engine like me needs help. Sometimes.